Andrew, kick me in the balls. I'm not kick you Andrew, in the balls. Trust me, I've been training martial arts for like 20 years. I can take, I've seen this shit like these monks do it kung fu style. I could take it. I'm Andrew, not kicking your Greek balls. Kick me in the balls, Andrew. Not happening. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you injure you, I'm it. gonna. Oh! Hey guys, Nick Drossos, Dr. Andrew Steinberg, and welcome to another episode of Have the Balls to Talk About It. And today, that's what we're going to be talking about, balls. Balls. And, um, you know, being a self-defense, martial artist, spent years in training. Uh, Andrew, you play hockey, right? I play hockey. So we're going to talk, talk about a question that we got. Nick, do protective cups work? How to protect the balls. How to protect the balls. So, Andrew. Yep. Let... So we talked about it before the show. There's no actual research on it, is there? Yeah, no, I actually try to do some research on the topic to, yeah. to discuss today. Um, you know, no one's ever looked at uh, yeah, if protective wear protects your balls, but uh, obviously they do. I mean, it's, you know, we, we in hockey and sports, we wear shin guards and elbow guards and whatever. That's a super sensitive area. So, you know, obviously it does. Um, but, uh, how much does it protect? Like if, if well, let's look at wearing it versus not wearing it and yeah. then let's look at the damage that could be done by hitting. Being so, hitting. so first of all, I think it's, we, you know, we're talking about uh, protecting the balls, but of course you're protecting the penis also, right? That's true. I always, we always think the balls, so you never think the penis. Right. But so these cups, when properly fitted and properly worn, will protect your penis and your testicles. And I've, I've seen guys come to the emergency room who forgot it and or you know didn't feel it was comfortable didn't feel like they needed it and um you know in hockey a uh, hockey stick uh, a puck i mean th these are lethal weapons baseball a ball yeah. soccer a foot i mean there's so many things that we do uh, martial arts yeah. um what that, are some of the traumas uh, you know, you've seen? The, these organs your, your penis and your testicles are are not protected like your kidneys and your spleen uh, you know, they're hanging out there. They're there for the taking. So it doesn't take a big injury, just a, a nicely placed injury uh, to, uh, to cause some damage. Uh, we think about uh, testicles. Uh, they can cause, you can have actually a, what we call a testicular fracture. Okay. Okay, what that is, is you have this wrap around the testicle called the tunica albuginea. It's sort of a white um, envelope that keeps the the uh, tissue inside which produces testosterone and sperm and uh, if that's hit that could break open and uh, testicles are very vascular you you bleed like crazy can you actually bust a mm -hmm. testicle yeah yeah like yeah. it actually explode yeah yep yeah, i've seen so when we see these cases uh, they come in usually uh, swollen you know like a grapefruit size that big uh, blood yeah it could just be a hematoma. There just could have been a little bit of bleeding that swells. You need to get an ultrasound to look at the integrity of this tunica that I said. If that's, uh, if that's broken, uh, you need to fix it okay. because you risk losing the testicle. Uh, but there are some cases where it just looks like a big mess on ultrasound and we go to explore it and it's exactly that. It's a shattered testicle wow. and you just remove it, clean up all it and remove it. When you're wearing the cup, right? So the cup obviously protects how much does it protect? Is there still an impact from, you know? Yeah, like look, I mean, I can say from my personal experience mm -hmm. that uh, when I wear a cup, uh, you know, it doesn't fit perfectly. Okay. It's not sealed. It's not, you know, your, 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 your penis and your testicles are not vacuum sealed in this nice little protective yeah. layer. You know, it shifts while you're playing, while you're moving. Uh, underneath, it doesn't come down all the way. So, and I have a, you know, I want to protect the family jewels. I have a fairly good good one, but there's definitely room for injury if, if it comes at the right angle, 100%. So my advice on that is, is that don't cheap out on, on, a on a cup. You know, get one that's good, that's tight, that really hugs up against the body, not just floating in the wind. Um, get the right size. Uh, and I guess, <laughs> I guess like I'd and wear it and wear it <laughs> comparing wear it. it to you know driving wearing a seatbelt in a car you know whether you're comfortable or not with it especially even in sparring sometimes 
I, I, I remember getting uppercut right, right, right in the, I don't even know how we went that low and how he hit me. And I yeah. remember I just, this happened 20 years ago and I remember just dropping and I remember the pain coming all the way up here. Yeah. And thinking that's it, I'm like, I'm done. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's extremely painful. And uh, you know, if you're a young guy, uh, you, you lose your testicle, one or two testicles, it could affect your fertility sure. for sure. It could affect your, your hormone, testosterone levels. So it's not a... What not, could it do to the penis if you get hit to the penis? Could it, could it, so there, yeah. there's two main things that can cause from a penile injury. And one is, uh, I think we've talked about it a little bit before, which is penile fracture. Okay. So just like there's a wrap around the testicles, there's a wrap around the penis to hold all that good spongy okay. vascular tissue in. So uh, that could break. Uh, then your penis becomes big and swollen and it looks like an eggplant. We call it the eggplant sign. Mm -hmm. And um, that also needs to be surgically repaired pretty quickly. Uh, although minor injuries nowadays, we could watch them depending. Okay. Um, but uh, normally we surgically repair them. Otherwise, it can cause uh, scar tissue, which can cause Peyronie's disease, a curvature. It can oh, definitely okay. cause erectile dysfunction. Oh, wow. uh, so. Uh, these need to be taken care of. Also, the the tube, the urethra, which goes through, can be injured, okay. and uh, that can uh, cause disruption uh, of the urine. You can block up because the tubes are now torn, wow. and you don't have a clear passage from the bladder. So I've seen, uh, you know, I've seen injuries where guys come in and had a big swollen penis and a little bit of blood at the tip of the penis. Wow. Uh, we did an ultrasound to confirm that the penis was injured. And we did actually we put in some dye through the urethra, Ooh. some contrast, intravenous, uh, some uh, X-ray contrast, and okay. took an X-ray, and you can just see it leaking out. So these guys have to be repaired. Um, actually, I just saw him, one of the guys in follow-up. I think it was eight years ago. He's doing amazing. Okay, good. But we we were, he, you know he came in right away. We recognized it right away and treated it right so, away and he has no urinary issues and he has no erectile issues. Uh, so you, you know, get hit in, in the, you get hit in the balls, the groin, the testicles. Um, at what point should his, they his was Yeah, his was actually a soccer injury. Okay, got yeah. kicked? Yeah, got kicked oh. kicked in the balls and, and or So it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Like, I mean, I, as a self-defense instructor, yeah. I tell people like, you know, defend yourself. A good, a good strike is to the groin, knee it or kick it. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot of power to they're sitting right out there loose for the taking. They're, you know, uh, to use the expression, they're low-hanging fruit. Uh, they're not protected. And, you know, because where they are, hitting it can knock it against the sidewall and, and worsen the impact. Again, it's not just hanging in the wind like that. Uh, you can push it against the pubic bone and, um, and, and def you know, that can cause injury. Wow. So, sure. guys, I guess wear your cup. Uh, any other advice for them, Andrew? Um, no, I mean, protect them. They're, they're of all the organs out there, and you're, all the organs in your body, these are the ones that are most accessible. Yeah. They're, they're, they're most accessible to injury for whatever may be heading your way, a foot, a yeah. knee. Um, and like we said, don't cheap out on a cup. Buy a good cup. Buy something a good cup. Something that's approved. Properly fitted. Tested, properly fitted. Wear it properly. Uh, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment box, as well as go check out our podcast. I'll put the link in the comment box again. And thanks for watching. Have the balls to talk about it and have the balls to protect your balls. <laughs> <laughs>